Welcome to Chris Cook for YouTube. One of the dishes that I make very, very well, and I really do pride myself on it, is my candied sweet potatoes. I'm going to show you my recipe, and I hope that you'll be using this for a long time to come. Let's get started with the ingredients that you're going to need. Of course, you're going to need the sweet potatoes, sugar, cinnamon, nutmeg, vanilla extract, lemon extract, you're going to need some cornstarch for a thickening agent and some butter. Now, this is real simple to put together, but this is a great dish when it comes to flavor. So I'm going to go away, get my potatoes cut up and get them peeled and sliced. And I'll be right back and show you how to put together this delicious dessert or delicious candied sweets. Be right back. Okay, now I've already, I just wanted to come back to show you this. I put my sugar in a bowl. This is one cup of sugar. Depending on how many potatoes you have, that was how, that's how you would measure your uh, sugar. And I'm going to add to this two tablespoons of cinnamon. And you're going to always use more cinnamon than you do uh, nutmeg. And I'm going to add one tablespoon of nutmeg. Okay, so... I'm going to take this off the table, but I did want to show you this part. So I'm just going to mix this together. And I added a little bit more simply because I'm not using a regular measuring spoon. With an old school cook, a lot of the ingredients you really know by heart, so you don't use it. As always, I'm going to put your ingredients at the bottom of the tutorial. But this is, uh, I want to eliminate so many items on the table. So I just went ahead and decided to just mix this up. Now you don't have to mix it. You can sprinkle it and it might be a little bit easier for you. And I'll show you that as I get started. But for me, it's just easier to do it this way. And then I don't have to keep on turning up uh, containers when I get ready to, to actually um, layer it. So I'm going to uh, go and slice my potatoes and I'll be right back. Okay, now I'm back and I'm ready to start. And here I have an empty pot. So I'm going to show you how to layer this. But first, I want to show you about this stick of butter. All I did was cut the stick of butter straight down the center to pretty much cut it in half. And then I just went ahead and made slices. Now that's going to be a whole lot easier for me. You don't have to do it this way. You can just put a little bit in every time you put in a layer, but this is going to make it a little bit faster for me and a little bit easier. Now I'm going to cut it again straight across. Okay, so what I did was I actually cut it so I could have small pieces like that. Okay, that's all I want to do. So I'm going to take and put four pieces in the bottom of my pot. Good way to remember where to put it, north, south, east, and west. Okay? So, if you see, see what I did? North, south, east, and west. I put that in my pot. Okay, now I'm going to put a little bit of my cinnamon sugar. Now, it may be easier for you to do this a little bit different way. And I'll show you because I know how to do it. So, this is like easier for me. So, what you're going to do next, once you get your brown sugar or brown sugar. Once you get your sugar that's mixed to be brown because it's mixed with the nutmeg and the cinnamon in there and you got your butter in there, then you're going to start to layer your potatoes. Now, if you have some potatoes that you cut a little bit bigger than others, put those on the bottom because those are closer to the heat and of course they're going to quit. They're going to cook a little bit faster. So you want to put in the layer of potatoes. Now, while this is the easier way for me, it may be a little bit easier if you do it, if you shake it. Because you don't know how many potatoes you're actually going to be using, so you don't know how much cinnamon to put in. So, if you do it this way, let's say that I put in some sugar because I have my sugar already mixed. So, I want to put in a layer of sugar, then a layer of nutmeg and a layer of cinnamon, okay? And then I want to sprinkle, so I'm going to act as if I did that, okay? So that's actually my layer of nutmeg, cinnamon, 
and uh, sugar. So then I want to put in a layer of my butter. North, south, east, and west. And it's a little bit sticky to my fingers. I do want to say this. Don't get it room temperature. Okay. Have it a little bit cold and then you won't run into that problem. Then I want to put my hand over the top of my lemon uh, flavor or vanilla, usually the one you want to, and leave just the side a little corner that will fall out. See that? Just want a little corner. You don't want a lot. You want to do the same thing with the lemon. And you want to continue to repeat this process. Now, if you do it this way, you don't have to have measurements. And the reason why you don't is because you're just layering. You're just putting in a layer of sugar, a layer of butter, and a layer of uh, the cinnamon and the nutmeg. So all you have to do is just put in layers. For me, I measured it out. I didn't really measure it out, but I knew just how much to put into my bowl. And the reason why I knew that is because... Um, I've done it so many times, so I can just pretty much tell just about what it's going to need. Now, if you notice, not putting in any liquids, don't put any water in your potatoes, nothing. Okay, the only time you're going to have just a little bit of water is when you get ready to put in your cornstarch, and that's just going to help to make you a sauce that's going to be like your sauce would be for your peach cobbler. Thick and rich. Other than that, you're not going to be putting in any water. None. And these potatoes are going to cook. And I'm telling you, this is a real good dish. And normally when I tell you that it's a good dish, you all know it's a good dish. So you just want a few drops and I always try to get, you know, a little bit more of your vanilla than you do your lemon. Because your vanilla is going to be your primary uh, flavor. Now, if you can see, I put in just a little bit more butter. That's fine. Because I want to really finish out this stick. And I normally put in a stick to a medium-sized pot. I put in a stick of butter. Okay. These are the best potatoes, and I'm telling you, if you start to cook yours like this, you will not stop. I, I've been cooking them this way for 20, 30 years. A long time I got this recipe from somebody years and years ago. And I've been using it ever since. And it's okay if somebody has a real good recipe for something. It's okay for you to ask for it and then make it your own. If if you are cooking something and it's better than mine, I'm definitely going to ask for the recipe. It just enhances my skills. So I'm going back to putting in the butter, everything I've layered out. want to make certain that I'm getting uh, all the flavor. That's going to come from my cinnamon, my nutmeg, and my flavors of the extract. And, of course, the sugar. Now, I'm using a little bit more of my vanilla than I did my lemon. My lemon and vanilla is an excellent combination. Put just a little bit more sugar. It's an excellent combination um, when you're mixing it together. It's real good when you're baking cakes too, especially pound cakes. Those two, uh, flavorings go real good together. Now, I'm going to cook this for like about an hour on low heat, real low. So if you're cooking this with your meal, start this out first. Okay, now all of my potatoes are in there. Gonna go ahead and add some more of my sugar. And you know just about how much sugar you're gonna need for the potatoes that you're using. 
put enough so you can get sweet flavor. Okay. So that's it. I'm going to put in my butter. And all I did was mix my nutmeg and my cinnamon together as opposed to just shaking it down. Okay. And this is the best candy sweets you're ever going to eat. I had a taste for these today because I'm making uh, fried chicken. And I'm like, okay, well, I want some candy sweet potatoes to go with my fried chicken. So, here I have it. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put in my flavor. That's my lemon. And this is my vanilla. And like I said, just try to put in a little bit more vanilla than you do lemon. Okay. To kill my sugar, so I'll just go ahead and put the rest of it. Now, what I'm going to do is, and I just want to use it out, so I went ahead and put that in. Now, your sweet potatoes will make its own liquids. That's why you don't put water in it. You don't need to do that. All you do from here is put your top on it. Sit it on your back burner on the stove and put it on low and let it cook. When your other dishes get done, nine times out of ten, your sweet potatoes is going to be done. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on my stove and on the back burner on low and I'm going to let it cook. And I'll be back and show you midway through the cooking process. You don't want to overcook. You just want them fork tender. Once you get them fork tender, then you can go ahead and add your cornstarch to it so it can thicken up your sauce. And these potatoes, these sweet potatoes will be fantastic. I'll be back. Okay, now this is about halfway through the cooking process. I want to bring you back because I want to show you. See how much liquids these potatoes have actually got in it? That's why you don't put water in it. You don't need to. So I'm going to flip the potatoes over. Okay, just so they can, the ones that are on the top now, they can finish cooking. But this is still not enough um, syrupy type liquids. I'll put it like that. So I'll allow this to finish cooking and then I'm going to add the cornstarch to uh, to this mixture in a little bit but this is not see it's not mm, yeah see it's not syrupy and I want it to be real syrup so I'll add that to it in a minute be right back okay now I'm back and this is done it's ready now, I want you to take, before I start to dish it, look at that sauce. That's the kind of sauce that you want. Okay? So, I'm going to go ahead and dish it up on this plate. And try not to get... Well, I'm just going to dish enough of it up so you can really get a look at it. I want to be all in the... Over in the view of the camera. There you go. That's a good amount. And then I'm going to pour up some of the sauce and a little bit of the potatoes that got a little bit crunchy down in there. There you go. All right. There you have it. There's one more. Look at that. Magnifico. Okay, this is the way I've made my potatoes all the time. I want to get this little bit of that off the, off the plate. And I truly, truly enjoy it. So, if you're looking for something different, I suggest you try this. I think you're really going to enjoy it. That's what I have, my candy sweets. And as always, thank you for watching. Chris Cook for you too. Bye.